clap other question of the contest i have already uploaded the q1 and this is q2 okay let's understand the uh, very important and interesting problem minimum shape to sort by digit sum and we'll cover the intuition and we'll go through the step by solution okay so you are given an uh, array of distinct positive integers and you have to sort this array but not in the usual way you need to sort it based on the digit sum of uh, each number for example let's suppose we have given uh, digits right uh, sum of 37 okay means 3 plus 7 is 10 okay and uh, another we have 100 the uh, uh, digit sum of 100 is 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 right means it will come 10 it will come 1 right so sort by that digit sum if the two numbers have the same digit sum a smaller number comes first right in this case what we can 3 plus 7 is what 10 1 and 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 means it will come what as you can see here right uh, here also we have given okay so you will get what 10 and 0 okay so now you have to do the swap right so 100 and 37 you have to do swap so 30 uh, 37 with 100 obtain the sorted order right so uh, but here is a twist you don't need to return the sorted array right instead you return the minimum number of swaps needed to rearrange the original order into the desorted order okay now uh, let's look at uh, some examples others that we have given right you can also go through other examples so just pause this video and go through example one two so you will understand with the explanation right so we need only one swap to, swap to make uh, uh, this original array right uh, as a target right so this is this is why this is why we, we will get what uh, only one as an output one output okay now uh, think about the approach how are, how we are going to solve it right so to solve this uh, efficiently we will use a cycle detection approach you, if you remember the cycle detection approach right that we i also uploaded in a, another uh, uh, you can say playlist uh, that is for the fang preparation of 180 days i have uh, added two day ago you can go and see that okay so uh, let's suppose let's break down uh, this problem right so first of all let's suppose we have given uh suppose i'll go and write a, a very simple approach okay okay let's suppose we have given an very important example this will be this will help you the concept okay so let's suppose we have given what uh, in the array 37 then we have given 100 and then we have given 25 right so so uh for each number right let's create a triplet that is called what digit sum will take some value will take and original index will take right so if we will uh, for example if this is an array right and we want we want to create digit sum value and original index right means uh, the digit sum is, is come what uh, let's suppose for in this example it will come what 3 plus 7 is 10 right so this is called digit sum then will come value what is the value 37 and then we get what will uh, we'll say original index right or it's original index for the 37 0 similarly we'll create another one right so that is a hundred so the digit sum is one and uh, original value is hundred and then we'll take the original index is one right then similarly we'll take another uh, 25 so 25 have a seven value right if digit sum is seven then uh, original value is 25 and the index is 0 1 2 so so this will become like this right means we will break down into three steps first of all we'll pair and sort the uh, uh, we will pair and sort this data right and then in the cycle direction if you remember right so what we will do we'll pair and sort this right so for each number we'll create a triplet so these are the numbers in the array so for this we will create what uh, triplets and triplets will be coming like let me tell you the digits digits sorry digits then then we can say the value in the cycle direction and the original index so these three will come right so in the first step we will do this one right what we will do in the first step we'll do uh you can say step one step one will be uh, uh you can say 
we'll do pair and we'll do sorting right we'll do the sort in step one right then what we will do uh, we, then we'll do uh, sorting by the digit sum and value so digit sum and value if you do will uh, digit sum and value so this is 10 this is uh, 100 and this is 725 so we'll do the sorting and you will get the data like this will come here first it will come this and this will come this right like this so we'll do that let, uh, in the uh, letter okay so in step two what we should do we will build the mapping if you remember right so we'll do build the mapping if we will build the mapping so uh, once we have the sorted array we will map the original index right what we will do original index will map the target index like this we have to do mapping means in this case we will take well we will use map right we'll map take a map and we'll do the mapping right so this will tell us uh, where each numbers needs to go right after that in step three if you remember the cycle detection right we'll do the cycle detection right we'll do cycle detection right so how will you detect the cycle right now imagine the array as a graph where each node points to the index where uh, that number should go right so every cycle of uh, size k requires k minus one swap right if cycles uh, let's suppose if cycle size is k right means it will swap how many times k minus one swap right means if you remember if you take this array as a what as a graph right so every node 3725 right it will points to its index right where it should go right the number should go so for every cycle of size let's suppose for this uh, n uh, is 3 how many swap is required 2 swap so how many element is there 3 element how many swap is required 2 n minus k right so you can uh, k minus 1 so 3 is k is 3 so k minus 1 is 2 the 2 swap is required to do this okay so we just detect all cycle and we'll add up the swap okay so in this case like first of all what we have done we have uh, created uh, uh, these uh, pairs right uh, 10 37 and uh, uh, 10 10 37 0 and 101 and then we have taken to uh, 7 25 and this right so if you we'll do the sorting right after this if you we'll do the sorting no need to uh, we'll do it like right? let's suppose we have one after 100 and this will come what one this is the smaller one then we'll come what the last one seven one seven twenty five and two right now which one will come the first one 10 37 and uh, zero right so we'll we have done this one in step two we have built it uh, the original index and the target index so if we'll talk about the above example what we should do so index zero if we'll point to index zero right index zero will map to uh, like this will map to uh, 2 right so index 0 is going to map to 2 right similarly let me write this one again okay how many index is there 0 1 and 2 right these are the index so in this case uh, 1 is mapping to 0 and 2 is mapping to 1 right see so this 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 0 is going where at index 2 right so we are mapping like this similarly the index 1 is mapping to 0 so we, we will map like this and then the index 2 is going to where index 1 right so we have done the mapping right so this forms as a, if you see that there is a cycle you can see this forms a cycle right how 0 0 this one so how it is forming the cycle sorry okay so 0 is pointing to 2 2 and then 2 is pointing to uh, 1 and now 1 is pointing to 0 right so we can say this forms cycle right so total length is what how many length is there so cycle length is cycle length is 3 right so how many length is required right not here you can say here so cycle detection we have done you can take this step 
as a uh, and how many swap is required? Swap is k minus two is two, right? So we have detected the cycle here in this step, and we have got the data, right? I hope you understand, right? So let's see the example. You just you you should understand this step, okay? And then you can uh, understand this coding step because see what we are doing. We are using the digit sum sorting cycle. We are doing the sorting, and then we are doing the cycle detection, right? And so uh, you should aware aware of uh, the uh, what we are doing here. Okay. So first of all, we will build the triplets, right? Then we'll do the sorting, and then we'll create the map, right? And finally, we'll do the cycle detection, right? And to do the cycle detection, first of all, we'll uh, go through all the uh, nodes. We'll check if it we have already visited, right? If we are not visited, mark is as visited, and then assign the values. Then check how many swaps is required, and finally return the swap. Okay. I hope you will understand this example. Let me know in the comment section, right? Uh, for the full section, you just pause this video from here and check the uh, steps, right? So first of all, what we will, what we need to do, we will create will the triplets. Then we'll do the sorting, and then we'll do uh, mapping, and then we'll detect the cycle, and we'll find the number of swap required, right? And finally, we'll return the swap. Okay. I hope you understand, guys. Let me know in the comment section that you understand the problem. Used digit sum sorting plus cycle detection, and to solve this, we have to take of n logs because it will take uh, n times. We are uh, iterating all all the arrays, right? And uh, to sort this one, it will take log of n, right? So if we we'll talk about the, let me zoom, right? So if we we'll talk about here, the TC will be uh, O of n, and the log n for sorting, right? So it will take O of n log n, right? So that's all. And this question, this is very efficient code, right? Because it will work for ten to the power five elements, and that will be great use for the graph uh, based problem. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to like the uh, video, subscribe to this channel, and share if you want. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.